What's going down? Y'all already know it's your boy, cuz. C U T T A to the C, yeah. Mr. Aga Ass, man. Yeah. Shout out to my boy, King Mo. King Mo, man. MMA fighter, that's my partner, man. The other day, he came out to my song, as is a theme song, you know what I'm saying? Aga Ass, Aga Ass. Crowd went nuts. I got the footage. King Mo. He won the fight 25 seconds. MMA, yeah. Congratulations to my partner, King Mo. I'm about to call him right now, see if he pick up. Brother, brother King Mo, go ahead and shout out to all the people out there. Hey, what's up, people out there? You know what I'm saying? It's King Mo out there, going down. Hey, uh, I had to do my thing a few days ago. Piece this boy up. Then I came out to act a ass from a boy cut a C. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, took the whole crowd off. And I had to do my thing. 25 seconds, KO, though. Already, man. That's how I do things. Yes, sir. Y'all yeah, heard it, man. That was my boy, King Mo. Call me. We can talk about the fight. It's all good. It's your boy, Color C. Y'all can call me at 214 296 4036. We finna show y'all the footage right now. King yeah. Mo the Wall. Quite fittingly, the King makes his US debut in Kansas City because this is the home of the Kansas Royals and here's MMA's royalty, King Mo Lawal. Have a look at them. King Mo be robed, the crown on the head. 4-0, three knockouts for this star of the world victory road Sengoku promotion in Japan. Born in Tennessee, now based out of Temecula, California, from the Kingdom of Mayhem. A former NCAA Division II folk style American wrestling champion and a Division I All American for Oklahoma State. Made his MMA debut at Sengoku 5, where he lasted, was a last minute replacement for Hotcha Gracie. Mo took only 131 seconds to stop Travis Wolf. He returned at Sengoku 6, he knocked out Fabio Silva in the third round. He knocked out Yuki Naito at Sengoku Rebellion in January and then was pushed to the distance for the first time ever, winning by decision over Ryo Kawamura at Sengoku 7. Making a comeback of sorts here tonight after tearing his ACL in March in his wind over Kawamura. An ACL tear is usually an injury that sidelines a fighter for around 12 months, but King Mo is coming back here tonight in less than six months. We hope the knee holds out. Especially it will be tested if Mark Kerr can still get off the speed to perform what was his trademark back in the day, the double leg takedown. King Mo on the apron, the final inspection here. Mark Kerr looks ready. At 40 years old, this is the last roll of the dice, certainly for Kerr. A loss here tonight, and we may very well have seen him for the last time. King Mo glances towards Mark Kerr. He said, I respect Kerr but I'm gonna own him here tonight. I'm gonna finish him. Mark Hur said to us yesterday, Mo's a pretty man, he's got a pretty face, and pretty fighters don't like to get hit in the face. I'm gonna target and mess up the pretty face of the king. Here's how they stack up, head to head, Mark Hur, 12 years the elder, one inch the taller, huge weight advantage, 263 to King Mo's lean, 219. One inch read advantage to the king, the king undefeated 4 0. Mark Kerr 15 and 10, losing his last four. The machine, Ian Freeman, to get us underway. Ladies and gentlemen, and one global would like to thank the Kansas State Athletic Commission and our sponsors for the evening, chokeoutpoker.net, for this, the main event of the evening. Let me welcome your fighter in the blue corner. He weighed in at 263 pounds. He has a professional record of 15 wins with 10 losses. Fighting out of Arizona, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark, the Smashing Machine, Kerr! Now let us welcome his opponent in the red corner. He weighed in at 219 pounds. He has an unbeaten professional record of four wins with no losses. Fighting out of California, one more time for King Mo Luong. King 
Mo Lawal making his long-awaited USA debut here tonight in Kansas City. A great ovation for the smashing machine, Mark Kerr. As you got your instructions earlier, a man like a man protects himself all the time. Any questions? Touch him up now. I have one question. The question is, has Mark Kerr still got anything left? Can he possibly pull up what would be a massive upset? The bookmakers have Kerr as the big underdog. He is plus 600. King Mo, the overwhelming favorite with the odds makers, minus 1100. The voice, Michael Chavello, Guy Mezga with your inside. The main event of HG Night, Hatched in Fights presents M1 Breakthrough. It is Mo switching from Southpaw to Orthodox. He's wearing the shoes here tonight to give him more traction for the shoots as he goes for a single leg. They go to canvas early. Mo takes the back and starts pounding. Oh, man, Mark's Kerr in trouble. Oh, the mouth guard's gone. The big kibosh. It's over. Oh. It's over. It's over. It only took seconds. Mo took him down, got his back, pounded the mouth guard out. It flew 15 feet across the ring. And Mark Kerr, surely the career is over now, Guy Miska. Yeah, I would, I would strongly suggest... Mark find another location. He's a good guy. He I is a lovely, him. lovely yeah. human being is Mark Kerr. We don't want to see him take serious injury. The smashing machine got smashed here tonight. An easy, easy US debut for the King. Guy Miz gonna take us through it. Well, it was a single leg lift right there. It's Russian, called Russian single leg lift and uh, got, you know, took down and Mark Turned his back and he just pounded in the side of him. He didn't do a real good job of blocking anything. And he was he was hurt. He was out probably. It looks like he was out, real dazed. Uh, you know, I'll tell you something. This you know this was too bad to see this on Mark. And, and you know the thing is is that you know Mo really needed to have an you know an impressive win, but he also needed to have a competitive match because he's he's a free agent and he wants to show everybody. Hey, listen, I'm you know. Come look at me, whether you're Strike Force, whether you're UFC, whether you're Dreams, you know, they want to say, hey, you know, look, and he really didn't get an opportunity to show himself. Guy Mezga, five fights now for King Mo. Yeah. Four wins by knockout, one by decision, undefeated 5-0. and oh. Is King Mo the real deal? Well, you know, I'll be honest, <laughs> he's pretty close to it. You know, it's, it's hard to say because we, we haven't seen him against certain levels of competition that we'd like to see him against. Uh, and so we're going to have to check, you know, we're going to have to see what, what he does when they step, when it steps up. Uh, looks like Mark hurt his shoulder too. Looks like left shoulder here of Mark Kerr. A lot of concern there, ringside position with Kerr. It's just really tragic to see Mark Kerr in this state and take these sort of beatings. That's five fights in a row he's lost now. And it is a shame because he was so determined yesterday to really want to prove himself. If not get the victory here against Mo, which was always going to be just a, a huge, huge long shot, at least to prove himself in centering, and he didn't. Let's go now to the machine, Ian Freeman, to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, after 25 seconds of the first round, we have a winner by the way of knockout, King Mo!